Hi hi, it's Mukti and I'm back again with a special episode. Um, and this special episode was actually prepared by my good friend Vincent in the Discord and Real Life server as well. So today, um, Vincent and I will be discussing um, a lot and we'll be discussing all about the birthday units, all of the birthday units this 2020. Um, and they are just 24 apparently because of course there are 24 girls but the thing is I actually thought they were a lot more and Vincent introduce yourself um, my name is Vincent Porter and I, I will join by right now by Amatara Mukti to discuss about the birthday stage girls that will be ranking from rank C to the lowest to rank SS which is the highest one yep so, SS what... <laughs> this one so we'll um Vincent prepared this very beautiful um spreadsheet while I was busy working and he actually um put all the details. So I guess we can start by order. So we'll start with Hikari Kagura. Um Yes, it's it is Sherlock Holmes Hikari Kagura, which is also the um the other counterpart of Sherlock Holmes Karen Aijo. She is um cloud setter position in and he her best attribute is agility which is 1761 which is actually, rank 7 That's true. Yeah. I actually didn't know that she was actually that fast. Um first of all, I don't really notice her that much. So, do you want us to rank them right after? Cuz I'm actually down to do that. So, okay. after every stage girl will be ranking them. Um, and we'll be putting them here in the ranking stream. So this is Vincent's side and this is my side. So, uh, um, her skills are... We have Slash of Brilliance, which is the... You know already. Right? Yep. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and so we got Confusion Slash, which is low damage and confusion to enemy with highest act power. So, um... This will actually not work on BS Mahiro because she has confusion resistance. But yep. if your high stack, if the enemy's high stack power is um, Sleepy Beauty Hikari, that will be much effective. That's true, and you know what, guys? I didn't even know that my BS Mahiro had confusion resistance. See, Vincent knows a lot. Yeah, he knows more than me. <laughs> <laughs> Not actually. <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't know that she had confusion resistance. Now that I'm thinking about it, oh, okay, that's good. But her climax act is actually the thing to look after, and I think it's her best skill. But she's very outdated. She has perfect aim to self, high damage, plus chance to confuse all enemies. But it's kind of weird because um, she isn't. She was really good before, back then. The thing is, yeah, because, yeah, her, yeah, she's because not that meta third anymore. Skill. Yeah, because of her third skill, which is negative, removes negative effects to all allies. Yeah. That's that's the best one on Sherlock Holmes' character at that time. But, but for, for the uh, record, she was the very, very first stage girl to get a birthday. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so where are you ranking her in PvE? If I go PvE, I have zero experience in PvE. Yeah. yeah, that's what I mean. <laughs> okay, so for me on PB for PBE, I think I can place it on um I think a rank pick teacher because um she can she can help uh confuse confuse the enemy boss and oh. also for her uh, third skill which is the remove negative effects. Which is actually make the make your stages uh, last longer than expected. He is what type? Cloud type? Yes, cloud type. Okay. And for PvP, I think I'd put her... I'm, I'm going to go to B rank. Yep. Okay. The chance of confusion is not actually not that high. I think only if it I think only forty five percent. So that's this is not, not too great on PvP, to be okay. honest. Okay, so if I but were to rank gonna... her, I think I, because I don't play PvE and I think everyone knows that, um, I'd put her in B or maybe A. B or maybe A just for the um, so I'll just put her high B. Let's put her here. Um, 
just because she has a cleanse and because she has a chance to confuse and she has perfect aim which is very very nice um perfect aim is just really really nice um if i'd put her in pvp i'd put her maybe a still b i think i'll still put her at b um because she is not meta anymore but i guess you could reach s or at most ss with her like the ranking i think i believe that um some people still use her in ss but yeah i barely see her i don't actually see her at all in sss but i'd put her there so our next um girl is chukasa ebisu which is genie out the lamp so this is the second birthday girl which is just six days after he got his birthday. that's actually a week she's also, yeah she's also cloud center position and her I, highest um ranking on stats is special defense which is rank 44 based on based on jp rankings by the way the, the ranking based on jp is based on december 13 updates so i just finished oh. that i just finished whole of the spreadsheet on that date that's really nice um so that means for those who are actually watching this um next year we will most probably get the arcana series stage girls so arcana yes. series will be out with the siren academy with the two new birthday girls on january and i think that's gonna be a lot of gems to spend yeah. <laughs> that's gonna be crazy. Especially, especially Hermit Mahiru. That, Hermit yeah, Mahiru. Like, I think that's something I have to get. Yeah, especially also Emperor Lumi is actually Emperor Lumi is the high highest power score in all of the stage girls right now. She is the craziest. I think she I think she's a requirement. She's an autobahn for sure. Yes. <laughs> sure autobahn. <laughs> okay. okay, anyway, so, so her skills are Oh, uh, we have obviously the first skill is the basic skill. We got Genius Calamity, which is medium damage and poison to three front enemies. This can also help if you have Pandora Misora. It can mm. it can actually help. With, uh, it it help can also help with um, Snow White Misora, I think. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, because he, he can deal extra damage with poison as well. Yes. So he has Confusing Strike, which is medium damage and confusion to enemy with high sack power. Well, this is the same as the, as the earlier, but does medium damage instead of low. Hmm. And, and lastly, yeah, this is me, Magic of the Lamp. I really hate the skill of the, I I still uh, hate that up till now, honest. honestly. Um, I really hate this. Her climax skin is very very annoying. <laughs> yeah, so that that does high damage plus confusion and poison to all enemies. If you have if you have Pandora Misar or Star Pizarre and Ven Venus uh Shizuha Kocho, Venus, yep. this will be very very memeable. This is really crazy. Um so ever since um Cupid came out uh, oops, wait, that's not Cupid. Wait, what's her name? Um uh, Venus. Venus, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oops, my bad. Ever since Venus came out, um all the Chukasas suddenly came out because Chukasa became meta at that time. Um, especially the Chukasa Groom and Venus combo is insane. Um, honestly though, to those who think that it's just weak poison, um, any debuff is honestly something to be um, or, uh, looked out upon because um, I have lost to a lot of stages wherein it's just a regular poison, a regular burn, or a regular stun because um, they deal um, tech damage. Oops, sorry about the stun. But um, they deal tech damage, even though it's small. There's still a high chance of you losing, <laughs> which kind of sucks. But um, even though um, her poison is kind of weak, it's still something to look out after. Especially if you have a resilience buff with Pollux. If you're poisoned, I think you yes. still die. Am I right? Yes, I because think you still any, die. any cheese dots will, will go through resilience. <laughs> I experienced that with battling Polox and LP Misora, and I and I still lost because of the because of the poison dealt by dealt by <laughs> Gru, uh, Ginikasa. God. <laughs> exactly. Like um you won't know if you'll win or not, but like debuffs regardless if it's like burn or poison, they still could affect you really greatly, especially if you do the timing correctly. So let's rank um her. 
where would you put um, her, Vincent? Um, for me, for PBE, I think um because of her confusion, going to confusion on Climax Rock, I would put her in S rank because ah. because the confusion actually actually that da- uh damages the boss itself when when he uh, when it attacks. So making making it a little bit easier for our stages to defeat him. For PVP, I think also S rank because oh. if if the confusion att- uh, affects all, all of the of the stage girls plus plus uh, Venus is on my team, uh, they can easy they can easily uh, kill the uh, opponent stage girls. Mm, so okay, it makes sense. Stages. Makes sense. Um, for me, if I'd put her in the PVE, I okay. In my opinion, I don't see her as a PVE unit because she doesn't have big burst damage. But I guess her confusion is what makes her special, so I'll just put her at B. Like it's only her confusion that does um, you know, um, stuff for the team. But I think um, if you remove the confusion, I don't think she is sort of a good unit for PVE. For PvP though, I think I'll just put her somewhere in low A. <laughs> yeah, I'll put her in low A. Why? Because she is a team unit. How do how do I explain that? Um, she helps people who could deal um extra damage when confused, extra damage with poison, and she is very disruptive to the enemy team. But since it is the um, cleanse meta or the negative effects resistance buff meta, I do think that um, using her would be a little challenging and I don't see her as much as well. Um, knowing her though, um, I see her being comboed with Snow White, Misora, and Venus. Those are the two main people used if you have um, Ginikasa. But I, I think she'll get you to at least SSS. The thing is... Um, she is very team reliant so if you don't have any um teammate to go after her climax act um i think it's gonna be a waste unless um the confusion deals so much to the enemy team and you get super super lucky that they'll hurt themselves i think that's kind of good but yeah I'll, i'll just put her in a for now okay so let's move on to the third stage girl which is the meme uh to the brain pupumi yumi oji This is uh birthday's 3rd of February and her her best act best stat is agility as well with 1796. Oh wow, she's fast. But the but on the other on the other ones but like power score is the lowest of all of all birthday stage girls. Really? Really? Yes. Wow. Out of the lowest. <laughs> she's the lowest power score with 6421. That's but, But actually, yeah, but actually the skills is not that bad though. He, uh, the skills yeah. does it uh, real quick. We got, we got uh, victory cheer. This is actually critical rate up or dexterity up to stealth and medium damage to front enemy. Um, if you get stuck, uh, stuck up on the dexterity up, like, um, I think, um, let's call this, um, uh, trio. trio. This will actually help on some on some yes. bosses. I always use them together for because they're both space. <laughs> yeah. I love yeah, using them got, together. Uh, yeah, we got medium medium uh, power slash. We got medium plus damage to front enemy, which is the another basic one aside from the brilliant skill. The third one is brilliance ensemble, medium damage to front enemy, and gain 30 can make it to tier two rear allies. This is mentioned as medium brilliance recovery, but I saw on the but on the stats it's only 30 can make it recovery to their allies. Mm. If it uh, plays on the back side, he can actually he can actually help uh, LP Misora and BS Mayuru because if BS Mayuru d- does deal a lot of damage. Yep, they yep they hit so hard for some unknown reason. Um, that's why they um, give them perfect aim usually. Yeah, so her climax act is a girl's secret, which is Insane. 10 hits of medium, da- 10 hits of medium damage and 20% chance of blindness to random enemies. So honestly, on on this skill alone, if 
your enemy is only solo like bosses or susudaro this is this can actually help this is very very nice for pve in my opinion yes yeah. so, so i think uh we should rank this up now yeah uh, for, for my opinion for uh great green to me i um do not uh she, she can actually solo some she can actually solo some um bosses i should put it in ss for me no doubt no doubt because of our dexterity up in the render blindness to all enemies as well for pvp um i go with the low tier <laughs> yep tier. yep that's true because uh, because of the tennis or 20% uh, blindness it's naturally not that great but you can you can still support the back back row back row units on pvp but you can actually risk which i think um at least s out of using this i use this on my out and i reach s only even though she's only r5 yeah i, I think up. i agree with you though in the pvp <laughs> Yeah. Um, so, if I uh, were to rate it, um, Fumi is insane for PVE. I'm telling y'all, like she's crazy. She destroys bosses. Um, I think she was the one I used during the, I don't know which collab event it was, but it was an event. It was an event, and the boss I used, um, I used Queen Yachio and her, but it was actually really, really good. Um, she could kill. A boss because all the hits go to the boss but if we're talking pvp she is trash like she's literally a joke that's why they call her a meme honestly when i pulled her uh, out of nowhere i was really really sad i was like what the heck uh-huh. is this <laughs> um i gotta i gotta give a shout out to reiko beam because i i think he said on on my chat last time uh where uh that he can he actually he can want he actually want to help on game because he's actually he's actually trash <laughs> she yeah she is really bad in pvp because why okay she hits randomly and she doesn't even give blind most probably and i think that's the thing that sucks but if you take a look at pve she's really really great like she's insanely great for space she's she's just so good she deals she charges everything with her ult and it's obvious that she's gonna hit only one person, which really helps um, boost her for the PVE part. And I am not a PVE player, but experiencing her in the bosses, I am so grateful to have her, not gonna lie. But yes, okay, so we can go to the next stage, that, girl. We, that is, oh, this is the, one of the scariest one, Phantom Michiru. Oh wow! This is 15th of February, and she is lower center position. Actually, flower mid bulk. Mm-hmm. Um, her high, highest attribute is agility with 1750, but her power score is one of the lowest, 6,425. 6, oh okay. But to be honest, um, her auto, her unit skill is not as uh, helps. Uh, Center position is center position speech goes, but look at her look at her kit. First we got the superiors, which is the basic one. The evasion solo we got no damage to front enemy and evade one hit to three front allies. That I got annoyed. This is actually good on late game. It is very late nice game on late game. game. Um we got Angel's invitation. That no I hate. I hate that so much. Yeah. I think that's her no best skill. And gain 20 can make it to two allies with high stack power. So actually, this is the same as um, British Yori that we'll uh, discuss later on. Mm-hmm. It, it can, she can deal also sleep, but the difference between her and Phantom is she, she, is, she, she does it to the front one. To, yeah, to, 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 to allies, yeah. To ha- it high stack power. This is actually and a really, really great skill. Like, I think that's the best skill in her basic skills. Because like, it's a guaranteed sleep, and you gain Kirameki, which is really nice. But next one is her scary one, her scary. Yeah, orc. the Phantom Invitation. He got high. Uh, she, she got high damage plus chance of stop to all allies. I this hate is, that this so much. This is really annoying. 
especially last time I actually yesterday I fa- I faced someone with Panto Michiro and it and she does her climax act in turn two. He literally she literally stops all of my stage girls. There seriously. was one where I got stopped the whole game. Like it was so bad. I was against her and Queen. Ah, uh, uh, was this Chiriachio? She had two ults and it was so bad. I was traumatized. But yeah, uh, where will you rank her still, though? Yeah. Uh wait. B- before that, for oh. Autosuke, the the one that uh the one that is best for her is the aggro resistance to self for three turns. That's really nice. It's act- very unique. Yeah. As far as I know, this is the only. She's SP the only stage girl. Yeah, she's the only stage girl with aggro resistance, which is actually pretty cool. But the thing is, usually the aggros only focus the people at the back and the whole team, and most of the people who have aggro are not that meta. I'd say, I think the only aggro that is kind of meta right now is birthday card. I think that's the only aggro I see, but I'm not sure. Yeah, and um. Initial base Akra. But let's so, do we run? Yeah, let's wait. Yeah, so for PBE, uh, um, I can say due to her basic kit and it's just evasion and also giving stop to all allies, especially for boss. I can put it on S rank because mm-hmm. because the because the boss doesn't till. Um, damage with, without perfect aim, except for Andrews that sometimes deals perfect aim damage. But for PvP, no dog. SS. As, as. <laughs> I see, I because see. Of, <laughs> simply because of because she is actually the best in late game, along with Jekyll, because of her evasion skill. Makes unless, sense. Unless your team has a uh, built-in. Per- perfect in memoir um, this, uh, this will be very annoying for me if I were to rank um, for PvE honestly I don't know what she does in PvE and I don't think she has PvE skills and I think the only useful PvE skill for me I think based on my zero and lack of um, PvE experience I think the evade is the only thing useful for me and maybe the sleep for that um, so I think I'll just put her in me. But if we are going to put her in um, PvP, I'd say she's very scary. I'd put her here, um, in the bottom of the S, or maybe in the middle. Um, let's see, should you put her in the middle? Let's put her in the middle for now, then I can reevaluate. The thing with Phantom Michiru is, she is best with the Butterfly or Agility Memoir. Because she has to go first and ruin the enemy team. But the thing is, um, since the meta right now, again, is the um, debuff resistance thingy. Um, negative effects resistance buff. So, if they have that, um, Phantom Mitchell would basically be useless. But, if luckily they don't have it, um, Phantom Mitchell will deal a lot of damage. And it's honestly insane because... Stop is different from freeze, wherein if you get frozen, um, it could melt if you hit them. Or if you're slept, it c- you can be awakened when you get hit. But Phantom Meteorus is literally stop, wherein you can't do anything at all. So if she stops your whole team, you're basically done for. Especially if she goes first. So I think I'll put her in S for now. Okay, so let's move on to stage next stage girl, which is Kaoru Oh, Yagi. I love her oh, so much. Oh god! I, this one, this one is a um, hybrid one. Marie mm-hmm. Antoinette Kaoru Kurohanayagi. This is a uh, birthday March 3, actually exactly one month before my birthday. <laughs> oh! So this is, yeah. So this is now mid, mid position and her I, highest uh, stat is physical defense with 1016. But poor power score, unfortunately, she is the second lowest. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> I didn't expect this one this low, though. I think it's because of her buff stacking. That's why. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah. Speaking of buff stacking, um, we got uh, first skill, which is the basic one. Her second and third skill, which is hyd- hydronistic and affectionate rondo. Both of, both of them can deal damage 
medium damage to three front enemies. For Hydronius Stick, it will give up, up, crit, critical up and dex up to self, which is similar to Julius Caesar Yachio, which is recently just came out. Yeah. For Affectionate Rondo, it will give normal barrier, special barrier, and agility up to self. Actually, I get annoyed in this one. I hate Norm- that. <laughs> Yes, 10,000 normal and special barrier to self. <laughs> this is annoying. <laughs> and also 30% AG up to self. So, lastly, he, her climax act, afternoon tea time, he has I, she has eye damage and AP up to all enemies and gives up, up to all allies. To be honest, um, this is actually counterable based on my experience on my alt, alt account. Mm-hmm. If, if uh, for example, if she does um climax act to all to all of my allies but i have dreamy skill ready or initial base accuracy skill it will basically remove that ap up and will go back to normal so like for example we got a uh, two ap uh ap up going to three three p and other ap up ap up uh stage girls like like pakuta ba uh star Pisora, and uh, initial base Akira and stage curve ka na, uh, Kuro ka na Yagi it can it can counter that AP up now it's it's now counterable yep that's true hmm. so I think for I think uh, this is actually based on her stacking if, if you look on your uh, auto skills critical up does 21% and dexterity up does 14% Mm-mm. this is already crazy that's true <laughs> I love her so much. Um, I think I've told this in a lot of my YouTube videos wherein I rerolled for, which is my account right now, I rerolled so hard just for her, her specifically. And it's funny because I was getting her in Dorothy's birthday banner. I was really like rerolling for a new account and that's the account I have now. So let's go to ranking. I'm actually excited mm, to ranking. Me. Uh, for PPE for me, um, especially for AP up and spamming, spamming uh, skills, sure SS. Uh. Because, yes, because she can actually solo uh, bosses up barriers because it will actually deal zero damage to yourself unless it, unless it got perfect aim la, like, um, stage girl Nana. For That's BBP, true. I think uh, mid S rank because mm. she is not comfortable for climax up. But if if you left her alone, that will be bad. That's true. Um, if I were to rank it based on her, uh, when I first saw her, um, being used, because um, I rerolled for an account and I fell in love with her at once, and I just wanted her only. So. She is one of the first units I raced ever, and she can solo bosses up until now. She is a monster. Um, regardless of what element type it is, she could nail it. Why? Because she has only shields and only damage, which is really, really nice and really, really rare from other um, stage girls. <laughs> Excuse me. From other stage girls. But there are um, units built like her in a solo version, like Dorothy. But for PvP, um, I'd put her in, I guess, high A's. Why? Because if, like um, Vincent said, um, if she is left alone, she could melt a team. Up until today, I still see people bring her in high SSS, um, but I don't see how they use it. Um, the problem with her is she attacks three units at once, which is a good and a bad thing. She damages a lot, and she gets her climax act at once. But the consequence is they also get damaged, which is good, but they also get their climax act up at once as well. So I think in PvP, she could be countered easily, but if you don't counter her at once, I think that's when the tables will turn and you will actually lose. But I think I'll put her up in the high A's, because she's still she'll still get you to SS for sure. Um, I still see a lot of people using her in SSS, and she's just so pretty. So yeah. let's go to the next birthday unit, which oh, is... Oh, that will be Ooh, Ichi Apanashi. 
Oh, this is Dayo Chan. Oh god. Yep. This is March 19 birthday and she is flower center. And actually this one is super annoying only from his unit skill alone. She is a <laughs> she is a mid bulker. Yep, she is. Uh for stats, for stats, um where is it? Where is it? She is the second highest HP. Oh, yeah, because she's a tank. Yeah, but um, the, actually, it's just rank four in special defense as well, which is pretty, pretty nice. So for her skills, we got uh the basic one. <laughs> the second one is like a seductive rondo, uh, which is medium damage and chance of confusion to three front enemies. This is similar to the stages that we mentioned on the in the early earlier, like um. Kag- uh, Hikari and um, Jinikasa. The next one is where is it? Uh, Blessing Rondo it gives ten percent max HP to three front allies per turn per three turns. Actually, this this alone is annoying, especially late that game. That is true. Um, if you don't have a cleanser with you, I still up to this day get so annoyed with her because. I don't know, I just find it so annoying that everyone's healing every after the turn, and it's just so annoying. 10% okay, is still so big. For, yeah. Uh, for her climax hack, she has beautiful trap, high damage, and strong burn to all enemies. Actually, when I check the when I check the stats, her strong burn is 10%. Yes, 10% HP. of the max HP, and that's really, really high. It's really bad, especially it counters resilience badly. Yeah. Um. Also, for uh, as I mentioned earlier, she is mid book because of the HP up to fifty percent and normal special depends up to thirty percent center position SG. This is actually annoying with when combined with Star Sora, Jekyll, and oh, what's the other one? Karen, pretty Karen. This is super annoying. <laughs> I hate the um, HP stalkers, honestly. It takes me forever to be it. It takes up to turn 8 or 9. Um, I actually, actually faced a US, 20, US 21 of her with US 10 Snort Desora. It took me all 10 turns to defeat that those <laughs> two <own> alone. <laughs> I can. That's People super. in the high SSS just have u- unit skill 21s only, and it's really, really annoying. So it's either you beat uh for me, I personally ban those with the act power um unit skills more than the HP. Because those are just stall teams. But for act power teams, they can just destroy you at once. So where um, sh- should we start good. ranking? Um for PBE special um only for your unit skill which uh, which actually can help the can help the um, your stage goes to survive longer, plus her plus a strong burn, which is something's not guarded for the event boxes. I just put her mid S because the because the HP is HP up if max up max unit skill HP is fifty percent. Like uh, you have you have um, it's called uh match girl match girl Lachio, It can increase up to forty five thousand HP. Which oh. is super high. I didn't know that. For PvP, no doubt, beat the beat SS. Yep. Because yep. He, he can actually tank you a lot. Make she is you, very tanky. Make you in um later stages, especially with with her um he, uh, healing skill, which is the the third skill. Her healing skill he is so annoying. Heal. Yeah. He can, he can, she can actually heal the three front allies you're protect, you're protecting with. Um, act, this actually partnered well with Jack and Start Sora, but if actually added by uh, offense mid SGs, that will be bad. That's true. Next. She's very very annoying. I hate her, but it's sad because there are um ban pick ban baits already, wherein you just have to fight the Auchans all the time. <laughs> Um, if I were yeah. to put her in PVE, I'd say I'll also put her somewhere in mid S. 
because of her burn and her heal alone is actually very nice. But I guess the confusion and the other skills are not really that PvE. But the fact that she has very um, high burn, that's 10% of the boss's health, which is actually a lot. That's like, you know, it's just like um, those bosses you can cheese with Snow White Masara, um, what's the name of the Claudine with Poison? Tukuyomi? Is it mm, that one? Tukuyomi. And Amaterasu um, Maya. They have like the strongest debuffs for PvE. And I think using her is actually really nice as well. But for PvP, I'd also put her in um, mid SS. Because um, based on the meta now, I think I'll explain it later when we get to rank all. But she is still. She has not died. Um, I think she is the very first one that has been like too OP. But until now, her, um, her stats hasn't like died down and is not outdated. But when I get her, most probably I'll be racing her and going back to mid meta as well. So I'd put her in SSS. She's still a monster, actually. Okay, so let's move on to next stage girl, which Lalapin. is... Oh, this is interesting. Lyapin Nonomiya, which is Arsene Lupin. And the original one is by Yachio Chirohime. Yes, this Arsene no... Yachio. Yeah, which is no... It's no back position. Her highest skill, her highest stat is... Oh, God. High act power with 2,105, rank 5 of all British nations. It really hurts. Okay. Yeah, so let's go with the skills. Basic, basic first skill. Uh, blinding strike. This is annoying. Especially with me. I'm using LP Missor all the time. He has, she has low damage and blindness to enemy with highest act power. Currently, my LP Missor's highest act power on my alt account is... He's getting he always uh, blind. blinded every time. <laughs> That's true. It's making, making me hard to hit hit um enemies with climax axe. Yes. So next one is uh Gas of Brilliance. Same as same as Jekyll skill, which is Kane Tri Win 20 Karameki to all allies. Yes, that's actually really and, nice. Um for lastly, oh this is interesting one. Flash entry the great phantom tick justice. She has high damage, burn, normal and special defense down to all enemies, dealing extra damage to enemies with burn. This is best partnered oh, I, with I hate Yamato Rui. Yeah. This is best partnered with Yamato Rui, Groom, and um Mad Hatter. Yao Oh yeah, and Yao Chan, yes. Um that's really insane, I swear. I hate that so much. Especially when she has perfect aim. It's really bad. And it, it and it can also have two evades on her auto skills alone. On her default and on rank name panel. Yeah, so she doesn't she die at also, once. Um, she's back offense. Which is a couple and critical up as 30%. So, um, basing on her skills, she's actually good at... Uh, when partnered with the um the mentioned SGs earlier, uh -huh. because um I faced it with with um I think Groom last time with I think Lupin Lalafin. Yeah. And I got wrecked so bad because she has perfect aim on. <laughs> <laughs> I actually fought Cryptics with it and I keep losing. I swear, it's really really bad. Oh gosh. Um, actually, um, for her burn, it's only 777 damage. Yeah, okay. it's not that but big. It, but if, if the uh, other other SG inflicts burn already, it could be bad. Oh, it's really bad. It's really bad. You're gonna die for sure. Okay, so for ranking her, I think for PBE, um, uh, okay, uh, I don't. The only thing, the only thing I think of this one is her blindness. Uh -huh. Blindness to the uh, I'm as a power. Um, also for climax up, normal special defense down. Um, she's not that great on PBE. I put out her very here. true. But on PBP, um, I think I can put her on a high A rank because. She can actually counter it now with the uh, most uh, recent girls, yeah. That's true. She's very um badly countered. Oh my god, my dogs. 
So, um, anyways, for me, wait, I should pause the recording because my dogs are barking. Okay, so, um, I paused the recording because my dogs, I think you guys are used to that by now. But, um, we are going back to Lalafin, and I'll be ranking her in the PvE. Um, back then when the collab of Atsune Miku, um, happened, the boss was so hard to beat. Like, not gonna lie, the boss was so hard to beat. And the only person who helped me, besides Mahiru, was actually Lalafin. Surprise. I, I know. I, I, it didn't make sense, but why? Um, the boss actually gets blinded. And I do think that the only purpose of, Mahi of um, Lalafin is actually the blind. Especially when it gets to PvE. So I think for PvE, I think I'll just put her in low A. She doesn't deserve that much spotlight because she doesn't do anything besides Brilliance Recover and Blind. But knowing that it's guaranteed Blind, that's actually really nice. So it's obviously gonna hit the boss, so I'll put her in low A. For PvP, I'd say she isn't as good as Marion um, to solo. But she is very good with the stage girls now to combo with. But like I said, if you're like Genie Kasa, you need to be Team Reliant. And Lalafin is actually very team reliant, but she has brilliance recovery for the whole team. So I think for me that is really nice. And the fact that her blind goes directly and mostly to the back row stage girls, I think it's really nice as well. So I think I'll put her in mid A. Um because I think she's the balance between both of them. Yeah, I I'd put her there. Okay, so let's move on to the next one. Oh, this at this stage, this birthday stage comes right after Lalafin. We have Puta by Surugi. Oh, it, this one is it now. Oh, one of the most annoying since I played this game. Peri Pak Puta ba? I hate her. Super space space and position and oh, uh, notable stats. Yes, she is the third, third highest, highest HP. HP and second highest. Special defense with 1465. Wow, she is tanky. So it will be hard. It will be hard for special type players, uh, as just to damage her. Sucks. That's okay. True. So, uh, for skills, uh, we get a basic per skill. For second skill, aggravating rondo, high damage to three pet enemies and gives eight feet down to three rear allies. This is the counterpart of Snow at Misora, which gives free front yes and damage to your uh, enemies fairy whisper uh, medium damage to front enemy gives counter heal to self um this actually that's so selfish <laughs> no but but um if if she's uh if she's alone and and if you saw the climax act she uh, if you, she already has a uh, grown high damage to all enemies Mm -hmm. And gives normal and special bar reflect barrier to self. And if you added counter heal to that, that will be worse. Oh, I've never seen a pro puck player to use that. I've never seen someone actually use high damage, like the climax act and the um fairy whisper thingy with the counter heal. I barely see people do that. But I don't know. I find it so selfish that she just heal to herself but i guess now that you said it i think your point is kind of right because i didn't even know that she has counter heal because that's so selfish <laughs> um but yeah, yeah I, I barely see it because usually after she aggros the next people in line are actually just you know other people's climax acts but the thing is i actually didn't notice i actually didn't notice that she had counter heal i just remembered right now when you said it kind of yeah, funny so... Uh, for her auto skills, um, two evades and one fortitude. So that's actually not that bad. But uh, un uh, unit skill of uh, offense for stage based stage girls. So um, she can help. She can help like Zeus, um, Cesario, and Chiriachio. Yeah, that's true. Okay, so um, where will you rank I... her? I'm actually curious. Yeah. Um. I'm actually curious as well for PBE, especially with I I I don't have her to be honest, but I kind of want um, her actually. Um, uh, for PBE, um, ac actually, as I saw from other players, 
she can actually solo susudaro bonsus uh are you serious susudaro. yeah she can I actually solo know. it I it's a per counter heal <laughs> but um noting that he has ap down to all al uh, uh not all allies three rear allies and she has a uh, reflect and special a uh, reflect to self and aggro i can put her on low s tier because um it, If you're going to sol- solo Cloud Susudaro with this one, and you need you need to spam you need to spam your Kiremeki skill and prepare prepare the counter his skill for just in case Susudaro will use her I uh, use its climax act. She can uh she can prevent that damage to go high and makes makes Susudaro damage itself, which is pretty interesting. That's actually. Oh okay. Now I get why um she could solo PVE. Makes um, sense. For PVP, um, another no doubt. Hi SS. <laughs> okay, valid, valid. <laughs> to be ser- to be honest, when I start playing this game and I go to PVP, when you use my main account, every every time my lineups is countered by Pak. Pak, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Fuck, fuck is very annoying. <laughs> Super annoying. <laughs> um, if I were to rank it for PVE, um, if you're gonna solo her, and since Vincent said she could solo, I guess I just put her in A, mid A, just for the utility. Utility is fine, but I think she's still a team player kind of thing because she protects the team and buffs the team. But if I were to put her in PvP, I think I'd drag her along with Michiro for the mid S. Why? Because, okay, first of all, I hate Puck. Why? Because it's back row meta mostly. And every time she has the 3 AP down, which is very scary if she has it at turn 1, your team's gonna get wrecked by the second turn. And I hate that. I hate it when every other stage girl goes first. It's just not cute. But um, honestly, her aggro with her reflect, uh, deflects and the AP down is very, very annoying by itself. Um, the thing um, is, actually, she... actually, this is uh, this skill is similar to Perseus Akra. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. But the difference is she de- she deals damage, and that's very, very annoying. Yes. She deals damage. She gets all the deflects. Um, she has AP down. She is still, for me, I think one of the best tanks in the game. Um, because she's yes. crazy. Um, I hate her. I just hate her. Um, every time I see Misora, I'd always want to ban Puck. But of course, um, Snow White Misora has her stupid ass um unit skill, so you have to ban her. Um, and Puck is very um famous right now in SSS. I'd say um high SSS because since it's back row meta, it's always their BS Mahiru first or you know. All of those first, or either there's no white LP or Mesora or whatever. Wait, what LP? Oops, my bad. LP Mesora is gonna go first for sure. And yes. yeah, it's really really annoying. I hate Puck, but I'll put her in mid S just for the sake of the other stage girls, because we'll be discussing them soon. So the next okay. birthday unit is Mahiro Chiyosaki. Oh, this one's interesting. Oh. Cesar Cat. This is uh, where this may for and also uh, snow center position. Her best stat is special defense with rank 5 with 1215. She's also ranked 10 on HP though with uh, barely above 20,000. Mm-hmm. Um actually this um for for a little fact, this is the first stage girl that pre- that has 4 AP skill. Oh. Makes sense. Makes sense. Uh, so we've got our skills as uh, one of uh, basic act. The next one's Inspiring Brilliance. Keeps act up in third Kiremeki with two allies with highest act power. So, you, you know who will that be? <laughs> so, this, yeah, for Board Concerto, this is the AP4. It's just high damage and accuracy down to all enemies. This is equivalent to Beast Mahiro and um, Birthday Tamao. Ratita Mao is doesn't deal damage though, but yeah. Yes, but but he has accuracy down, which is annoying already. <laughs> It's really annoying, I swear. 
um for sur- um this one surprise cut step the climax act very high damage to three little enemies gives evade one hit and for shoot one hit to all uh, to all allies um for beast mahiro she only gives uh, fortitude gives fortitude for um i think um akech akira Akechi gives, gives two two evades yeah but but uh chase mahiro does both yeah which is really insane She's still okay. It's honestly, it's... she is still one of my favorite ban picks, especially in the mid role. I love banning her because yeah. I hate her so much. Yes, because she is back bo- uh, mid bulk. <laughs> mid bulk and annoying. <laughs> yeah. So let's and uh, let's out. Oh, why did I do that? I just <laughs> accidentally kicked my shit. Hang on. Um, hang on, hang on. Uh, let's rank her for PBE. Um. Knowing that her auto skill got us um point you one hit and some some not just sit down. Um he can support support um and allies for uh fast fast uh, climax act. But th- for EP act down is already risky. So yes. I'm gonna put put her on mid A. Ah. Uh... But because of her climax, she can pre- prevent all of your allies to die fast because of her fortitude and evade one hit. That's true. For, P- for PvP, high S tier because oh. um just like I said before, uh for EP act is already risky unless she has AP down. I see. Okay, okay, that's an interesting choice. Um, for me. I don't know what the fuck she does in PVE. I don't think she does anything. So let's just give her um low A. Why? Because she still has a support skill, which is her climax app. And let's say in the magical world, you use her with her milk bulk. Um, she can just keep spamming her ult if ever that happens. I have no idea when. But her climax act is really a big deal. But if we are going to be talking PVP, she is still up to this day my favorite ban picks in mid bulk. I'm bringing her to. Um, mid SS, why I hate her so much. Um, the fact that she, it's always, she always gets to use her climax act right before the final act, meaning that she will be able to protect her team in time for the final act, all all schoolgirl um combo, and it's very very annoying. Um, the fact that she gives evade, that's obviously a guaranteed miss. The fact that she gives um. Fortitude that's guaranteed one hit. So um she is really, really annoying up to this day. I love banning her. I ban her more than um Diao Chan or Snow White. Whenever I see her, I just ban her. Because she's very annoying. But the thing is, um before the low accuracy was a thing, having her is actually very nice because Regardless if it's for AP, if you know how to time it properly, it's still deadly. But I guess it's her climax act that um, does not make her die down the meta so fast because she deals really big damage to the three people at the back and um, she gives evade and fortitude. And that's why I hate her so much. That's why I put her in SS. And I still see her a lot, like really a lot. And I have no choice but to face her. So let's go to the next stage, girl, which is Aruru. Uh, that... Yes. Oh, this one. I love uh, her. The flower counterpart of Mari, <laughs> Dorothy. <laughs> That's true. Uh, May 29 birthday and flower back position. Um, she is actually ranked three in agility, and rank four in her up up power with 2,173. Uh, agility is 1,808. That's really. Pass. Okay, so actually, all of, all of her skills are pretty much um. First, all of her skills self, are nice. Self, yeah, it's pretty much selfish, but still interesting because yeah. all of the skills does medium damage, but her skill intelligence does remove positive effects to it. And Tin Man's heart is ten thousand normal and special value to sell. And Lion's Courage is up, up and Dex 30 up as well. But all of all of those can damage rear enemy. Which is actually not good for me. Yep. 
Unless he has provoke. Unless he has provoke. very annoying. The fact that uh, she can remove the... debuffs is actually really insane. I mean buffs. Uh, uh, for her climax up over the rainbow, similar to Crane Foamy, but she does stun. And high damage. <laughs> oh, um, my, my bad. It's been, I put major damage still by. God dang it. I gotta fix that. Hang on. That's okay. But yeah, I, I hate her. I wish I had her though. Yeah, she has two evades and 20 karameki per turn for her auto skills. Um, so, so I'm go- that, that's going to rate her. For me, um, actually, on my own experience for PBE, another, She's a monster. another SS for me. Yeah. Another SS for me because she can so she can solo win Susudaro. She can solo anything. Yes. But uh, a little bit careful for snow snow um enemies though. Uh, for PvP, I still saw her on high SS cheers. She I, can solo. Uh, for, me, uh, for me, because I I faced this before, and she on and that guy only used Mona Lisa and Dorothy. Yeah. Is, uh, it's very very annoying. I put it on low SSS. I low SS tier. Hmm. Cause she's spammable. She's like Marie, where and she could delete a whole team by herself, but very slowly. Yeah. <laughs> to be honest, her her first skill alone is already annoying. She can remove positive effects of my rear of my rear ally. <laughs> exactly. It's really annoying. And she really hurts. All her hits hurt. Like really, yeah, really 10, hurt. I think- I think the max damage I received last time is 27,000. <laughs> that hurts. <laughs> she hurts so much. I hate her as well. Um, for PvE, no doubt she is up in the SSS. SSS. Because she's really insane. Um, she's a solo version of Marie, but she's a hard hitter. Hard hitter solo queen. When she was actually released, everyone looked down. <laughs> on her because she's like oh she's back row what she's her skills are pretty lame but um they're they're always like why she's just a solo marie what's the difference well the difference is she hits so much harder than marie um not gonna lie and she could solo a team she is more meta than marie in terms of pvp so if i were to put her in the pvp list i'd put her in low s based on my experiences um Dorothy is crazy if you don't get to kill her at once. Uh, like, she could actually solo your team and could destroy the back row meta. Um, I honestly want to put her in mid S, but I guess that's fine for now. But um, Dorothy is actually a really good unit. I wish I had her. And the fact that her unit skill is really, really nice because it's um, mid crit up and act up, it's really useful. I mean, back row crit up and act up. She's really, really nice, um, and she's very fast as well. That's why you just give her a perfect aim memoir. You don't even need to give her Kirameki because she's just spammable. So let's get. Yeah, because she has auto skill of twenty Kirameki. Yeah, that's true. Let's okay, so get let's into her on. the next one. Oh, this is Yuyu Kotanaka. Another annoying one. This is Little Red Riding Hood. This is Aberty Shun Five. She is no center position, same as Jess or Mahiru. Um, her best stat is also special defense with same also as um Jess or Mahiru, 1215. But she is rank 7 on that power with 2086. She has decent stats. Yeah, so... We got protection strike, medium damage from enemy, and gives special barrier to front ally. I think um, when I saw the stats, this is 10,000 special barrier. As far as I know, she has one of the highest shields in the game for special. Because it's just really annoying to fight her. She can spam it. Um, un- until until accessory Arachnus Beecher came out. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Okay, next is Path of Swing Needles, Major Damage, and Chance of Mark to all enemies. 
this is actually gonna hurt if if it's on Climax Act. Mm. Um, he has run the appearance, he just major damage from enemy, and give 30 can make it to two allies with highest act power. Um, same also at the previous as I just mentioned with 30 can make it, but this is getting interesting with her Climax Act. She has high damage to all enemies and gives invisibility to three front allies. Ah, god damn. This is... This is already annoying. <laughs> on Climax Act alone. He is annoying. And to think she can hit six times in one SG. <laughs> she... Oh, I think it's best if they're like less. Because she does a lot... She deals a lot of damage. So low. Yeah, so her resistance for her for her auto skills is blindness and 41 hit and dexterity up plus 15%. Now, I think she I know why this one is bannable. I think I know why this one is bannable. Because of her dexterity up. <laughs> You're already high. Yeah, she deals a ton of damage, but I think the multipliers are not that high based on my experience. Okay, so oh, why did I move it there? Hang on, let me adjust this real quick. Why can I drag this thing? There you go. Um, time to rank her on PBE. Um, for for her invisibility on her climax act, and she also mark mark on on enemy with only chance of mark, but still good. On spe- also a special barrier, I can put her on mid A. Ah. Because she can, she, can, she can protect your three front three front allies on your climax act, preventing preventing any damage from example Susudaro. She does um damage to three front and three front allies. She can protect she can protect it. For PVP, I think um low S. She's she's still pretty annoying, not gonna lie, but um she can support uh back. Uh, highest act pa- power SGs like Alpi Misora and Peace Mahiro Queen Yachi as well That's true If I were to rank her I'd put her in I guess high A P V E Just because um She has high special barrier shields So if you guys know how Hercules Maya could solo a boss and protect herself at the same time. That's basically Yuyuko but a little weaker. But her shields, I think her shields are what make her nice for PvE. But I guess that's it. For PvP, I just put her on maybe mid A. Why? Because her kit is one of the most random things um honestly when she was released i didn't even roll for her because i did not see the full appeal but if you know how to use her properly when she was released i've seen people use her really really nicely um they had perfect timing they had perfect setup um but the thing is it takes too much effort to use her and to actually use her in a very very nice way but I usually ban her if I see a unit skill 21. Because it's kind of funny. Um, Because people raise the unit skills of use of not really useless, but less meta stage girls. So that they'll get banned instead of their, you know, um stage girls that have really really have um high utility but no unit skill. So let's say you'd rather ban a Queen of Hearts Yachio than a unit skill 21 Yuyuko Torta. So they usually use it for bait. But I guess she's just okay. Um she she just needs time to set up, in my opinion. So let's go to the um next one, which is Oh Shiori. Shiori Oji. Oh, a lot of a lot of people love the new SG of her of her and JP. Yes, <laughs> it's Andromeda. Um, actually, it's really weird on on Andromeda Shiori being locked up. <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> yes, it's so ganky actually. But the thing is, um, I don't think she's gonna be good in PvP. I, I mean, I guess because yeah. I'm a PvP person. 
Okay, so discussing our birthday stage curve, which is vampire stereotype emoji. Actually, comparing to the other other vampire, we have vampire Karen and vampire Claudine. Shori is the shortest. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Ah, uh, she has she is one cent position. Her best stat is rank three on special defense. One thousand four hundred fifty-five. Oh, okay. Okay, so. Okay. Let's go over skills. Basic first skill, second skill. Oh, I hate this skill. <laughs> Medium damage and sleep to rear enemy. I hate that Actually, as well. Is um to be honest, on my main, um a sleeping beauty guy always gets shot down by this one. <laughs> exactly. I love using her before when I still like use the mid row because she's insane. You just have to give her agility memoir like. The Aruru memoir with Shizuha. That's all you have to give, because that's her best. She's just a sleeper, honestly, and a shielder. Yeah. So third skill, which is Blood Barrier, no damage to front enemy, and give special barrier to all allies. I think this is five thousand special barrier. I think it. Yeah, five or six thousand, as far as I remember. Okay. So climax up, blooded full moon. Oh, this is high damage. Blindness and strong poison to rear rear enemies. Um, I when I check this one, strong poison is 10% max HP as well. Oh, okay, that's not bad. Um, so White Resaurus is um 15, right? 15%. Mm, 15%. Um, her For... unit skills. I mean, auto yeah, skills. Yeah, units. Oh uh, yeah, auto skills is fortitude one hit and poison and blindness resistance. Really, really so nice. for unit, um, uh, unit skill which is uh mid offense, which is a critical up center position. Most so of the people use her as a tank and a sleeper. Yes, which is really really nice. Um, um, actually, she is ranked for an HP. I forgot, twenty two thousand eight hundred forty. Yeah, I like her. I still up to this day love her, but like, she is just replaceable, sadly, by a lot of units right now. Um, that's going to rate her for PBE for me. Um, the only thing I can show her, show her for, for you um utility is her um special barrier and the sleep. Sometimes it's guarded, but her climax is still very high damage still. I'm gonna put her on high A for PBE because of because of the special barrier and the poison. For PVP, high S ah. because she, she's actually counterable now by cloud units, especially with especially with my laylaps on main <laughs> on my main. <laughs> she That's is countered by Mayfan as well. No way, yeah. Mayfan. Um, for PVE, I don't think she belongs in PVE. Um, I think I'll just put her. I don't even know if 10% works. Let's say 10% poison works. I just put her in low A. Like, honestly, I don't know where to put her. I want her to put her in high B, but she's just not it. She's just not it. Maybe the poison might work and the shields, but that's it. If I were to rank her in um PvP, he is, I think, high A for me. Um, she. I think she deserves more, in my opinion. I think she's supposed to be like low S, but she. Okay, fine, fine. Should I change it? But no, no, no. Let me discuss. Why? Why did I put her in high A? She is not as good as a solo unit as Dorothy, in my opinion. Dorothy do does a lot of stuff by herself. Um, while Shiori is mostly a setter. So what she does is she sleeps and sleeps and sleeps. That's mostly um her goal. Because she's really fast if you give her the agility memoir, and she protects the team. But the thing is, um, I that's most probably it. Um, she is badly countered by Snow White, May Fan, and the rest of the cleansers. But um, um, I forgot to mention she's one of the lowest in agility. One thousand. Yeah, one six. Yeah, what one thousand six hundred something. That's why you have to give her the agility memoir. If you don't have the agility memoir on her, is I don't know why you're using her, honestly. But she is very nice because of her unit skill, which is act power up. And sometimes you just have to ban her. 
But the thing is, I think it's best that she could have done more. But I not not gonna lie, I still like bring her to my like to my team. Because she's actually pretty strong. But I guess Should I put her in low S? I think I should. She deserves a spotlight. So I think fine, let's just put her in low S. But if not, I'd put her in I high A. It's somewhere in the middle. Because she's actually decent. So the next stage okay, drill so... is um, actually, before we go to the next stage, I I just want to inform of this. Um, mm-hmm. after after this after this stage girl, uh, she, but pretty sure, uh, Sleeping Beauty Hikari came out, which is the first SG to have negative effects resistance. Oh yeah. And this, and this, and this next stage girl follows. Happy Prince Nana Daiba. Oh my god, I got so shook when she was like released, honestly. If you yeah, still she... check out like my YouTube and you search that, I didn't even have a camera back then while discussing it. It was so funny. Yeah, she's the like 12 birthday and she's flower center precision. Actually on my main she is maxed out already. She is, she what? is ranked se- I already maxed her out on my oh. main. Because she is pretty interesting. Um, for her skills, but first of all, her stats, are, her best is special defense, with 1,108, rank seven in all of the British stage girls. So for her skills, we got the basic first skill, second skill, Ruby's radiance, high damage to front enemy, and removes continuous neg- negative effects to res- negative negative effects to re- three rear allies. That uh, that's my mistake. Hang on, <laughs> she's also um uh on the Cleansing debuffs, not not get not cleansing resistance. <laughs> That's my bad. <laughs> okay, so so for after this is one already pretty nice she, because she already can damage and she can cleanse the buff debuffs of your team. For third skill, which is our Radiance, this is the worst the worst thing you ever faced here in in this stage, girl. High damage upon the enemy and recovers 20% max HP of two allies with lost current HP. Yeah, she's actually crazy solo. Not gonna lie. She's insane. Yeah, I already, um, when I max her out and I played four PvP games with her, I I already I already survived two of them with her alone spamming that skill. She is crazy. Because she can keep healing and cleansing. Yes, yeah, so for her climax up, the high damage to three front enemies and applies negative effects resistance to three real allies. This is the second uh, stage drill that gives negative effects resistance. Um, people underestimated her when she was released, but yes, she's actually really, really good, especially solo. Yeah, especially so- soloing some, soloing some both, uh, some. Um, story, story, bo- story enemies, uh, story stages enemies. She's actually pretty soloable, so- soloable. For, for her, for her um, auto skills, and uh, the best, in- the most interesting one of this is her the R9 panel. Special yes. defense up to 20 percent for all allies for three turns. She's the first one with that, right? Yes, the first one. And it's also the start of the. It actually when I saw when I saw the uh, past birthday stage girls, this is the first one that gives stats to all allies for the first three turns. Ah, uh, makes sense. Makes sense. And also she is a uh, mid defense, so that's pretty much it. So let's go for ranking. PBE. Ah, uh, ranking PBE for me. I think um. The the fact she can so she can actually some solo some you can solo PVE. Me, but, um, not that not that high though. Yeah, like, but like she, um, she feels me, decent it, damage. Yeah, but equipping her with um a buffer uh, is important. Dex- yeah, dexterity and critical up memory. This is actually pretty insane. I'm gonna put her to IS high S, even though I max her out. I just, He still she still deserves that spot. Mm-hmm. For PVP, uh, the fact that she, she is the second second stage girl that gives negative effects resistance, also healing 
heading up to late games which is pretty interesting go you will go to SS for me oh no SS hmm for me I think I will be putting her in for PVE I guess I'll put her in high S because of the heal and the cleanse and the high damage The thing is, I think she needs a team to support her, wherein she gets buffs. Um, this is only useful if she has a buffer with a team. But I think if her is just her alone, it's it, it it might work. It could work. But the thing is, she she'll take a long time because she needs the extra buffs to deal extra damage. Um, if I were to put her in PvP, I'd put her in the low S. Um, she is actually useful. I'm not gonna lie, but there are other units who do better than her at the moment. Um, she she deals a lot, especially solo. Like these people in the low S actually do really well solo. Um, and I think that um, they should. Hmm. I think it's the heal and the cleanse for me that makes her insane with her high damage. But the thing is, I think there are more bursty units that could. Kill her at once and kill the enemy team faster. But um, back then she's really, really insane and crazy. Yeah, she's she's actually a bad bit back then. Yeah, back then she actually was. Okay, 